I'm the best there is at what I do. And what I do is buy a bunch of stupid shit. Two Spider-Man videos in a row? Well, to keep me from going insane, we're gonna review the Mafex Wolverine bub. I've already had this figure for a few months at this point, I just haven't had the time to play with him, but after finishing the absolutely fantastic work of cinema that is X-Men 97, now is the perfect time to unleash the beast. No, not that beast, this beast. <laughs> the box is very similar to all of the other Marvel Comics Mafexes, only instead of, like, Spider-Man, it's obviously Wolverine. Yeah, no shit. And as you can see, he's the best there is at what he does. Well, Logan, we'll just see about that. And if she needs a C-section, I'll show you a C-section box. Oh yeah, the box wasn't lying. Mafex has proved once again that they are indeed the best at what they do. The head is appropriately very grumpy. And the big old mask fins or ears or whatever the fuck these things are supposed to be are big, exaggerated, and awesome. His mask always reminded me of two Batmans kissing, but that's probably just my male fantasy coming in. And as we look at the body, it's clear that this is Wolverine's tiger stripe uniform, more specifically the one drawn by Jim Lee. And as such, he is big, wide, and sexy. The yellow parts of the figure are not just flat yellow, there's actually shading in the crevices, right in between his massive pecs there. You can see it in the leg muscles, and on his gargantuan back. Jesus! And he even has painted arm hair. In the 1970s, Wolverine was not allowed to have arm hair while he was in costume, but out of costume, it was completely fine. But luckily for us, times have changed. The blue parts on the figure aren't just blue, they're metallic blue. Even on the actual tiger stripes themselves, pretty interesting because for the most part people color these black. But then when you look at some artwork, I guess it is accurate. I think this is Mafex's way of replicating that comic book shading you see on blue parts in the comics. This wouldn't be the first time they did it either, I mean look at the Mafex Spider-Man. So yeah, I got no problems with the blue, but it's really funny that Wolverine has a metallic ass. The shoulder pads are extremely glossy, and I like it a lot. But what I don't like is this dot on the left side. I can't even scrape that off. Or how about this dot on his face? Wolverine has a beauty mark, but my biggest problem with this figure are the armpit joints. Not in terms of function, but how they look. It breaks up the design of the costume a little too much. I understand sacrifices had to be made for the articulation, but this could have been done better. I always find myself trying to adjust the arms to make them look good, but even the slightest bit of posing messes it up, so I don't even try anymore. But that right there was my only real issue with this figure. As far as the aesthetics go, it's damn near perfect. He's short, stocky, and ferocious. As far as the accessories are concerned, you get an angry face, open hands, fists, and of course, you can't have a Wolverine figure without... Heineken Silver, new adamantium edition. His claws. Uh, I meant his claws. Just, oh, silly me. These claws look pretty cool. They're painted a nice metallic silver, and they're pretty straight overall. I do like these claws, but they're not my preferred look. I'm a much bigger fan on how they look on the brown suit figure. These ones just kind of look like the Marvel Legends ones, but obviously longer. Bub, you're done. <laughs> no, please, no. 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 All right, it's not actually broken. Back when I first opened them, I threw them on my bed, and then the claws came off, and I got so scared that I broke them. But no, this is just how the claws attach. You can just put it back on the hand and it's like nothing happened. So yeah, crisis averted. And then you get a Logan head sculpt. And you get a folded down mask to complete the look. I really like this Logan head. The face especially looks just like Jim Lee's artwork. And yeah, even without the mask, he still has these big ass shits on his head. But as cool as this head is, I do think the one on the Marvel Legends figure looks better. But by no means is this a bad head either. I'm just very picky about my head, you know what I'm saying? But as far as accessories go, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you do get the stand, you know, which is fine. 
But it's that new Mafex stand where like you get a bunch of shit you don't need and like the clip is too big for the figure and it's just uh... But then when you really think about it, this is actually all you'll need for Wolverine. The only accessory I wished he had was a screaming face. I think that would have set this figure over the top for me. But what is over the top for me is the articulation. Like all Mafex figures, there's a ball joint at the head and the neck, which allows for fantastic movement. And I know I just complained about the shoulder joints, but they're very functional. You can get this figure to cross his arms. The shoulder pads are hinged, so they don't get in the way of any movement. Then you got your biceps, your double jointed elbows, your wrist joints, and now you got a ball joint torso and waist joint. With both these joints, he can crunch forward a lot. I love these joints so much. For the legs, you have drop down joints. So when you extend them, you can kick out forward this much. He can almost do the splits. There is a thigh swivel hidden in there. Double jointed knees, the ankles move up, down, left, right, and the toe joints. I know Marvel Legends fans are losing their minds right now. This is a Wolverine you can pose on par with Spider-Man figures. In fact, the articulation is better than most Spider-Man figures. He can recreate pretty much any pose you'd want him to, whether that be stabbing people, stabbing people, or fucking stabbing people. Despite what the movies say, Wolverine is a pretty short guy. The Mafex Magneto is quite a bit taller than him. The Mafex Spider-Man, Professor Charles Xavier, Marvel Legends Storm, Rogue, Nightcrawler, and Jean. I wish I had more X-Men characters like Cyclops and Sabretooth. Times were tough back then, I had to sell a lot of my X-Men collection, and my Jubilee figure looks like this. So here he is next to another Boy Scout and Venom, which is on the same body mold as Sabretooth. Fellow Animated Universe member Peter Parker and his alter ego Spider-Man. I don't have time for games, Wolverine. Good, cause I ain't playing any. You sure showed him. Shut up, you puny little geek. If you wanted to get a little crazy, here he is next to Jada Toys Ryu and the SH Figure Arts Chun Li, huge ass man. My Marvel Legends Astonishing Wolverine, kind of. I painted the shoulder pads and claws, but. I still actually really like this figure. It's my favorite Wolverine costume, so I'm pretty excited for the new Marvel Legends coming out. Spider-Man, Aqua, and we can't forget Wolverine's arch nemesis, the Incredible Hulk. Oh my god, this is magnificent. Before we move on, it's important to note that this figure is actually a re-release. He first came out in the year 2020, and back then he had a major issue where the arms would come off super easily at the bicep. It was just awful. So the question is, does this figure have the same problem? And the answer is no. This figure's A-OK. -okay. Thank you, Canada. Or Japan. Japan. This Wolverine figure is freaking amazing. Which is like no surprise. Mafex always delivers on the heatness. I think this is the best Tiger Stripe Wolverine figure we've gotten so far. I highly recommend this figure. I would say the Marvel Legends figure is just fine, but you know, considering how much that bastard goes for now. I would try looking for the Mafex figure. I freaking love this thing, which is crazy because I wasn't gonna get him. I wanna give a major shout out to AJ on Instagram. He's a fan of mine and he actually sent me the link to this figure at one in the morning. So I was able to get this guy before he sold out. I have the best fans in the whole world. I should make that twerking video soon. You guys deserve it. But yes, this figure is the best at what he does. And what he does is being kick-ass, bub. <laughs> bub, get the fuck out of the bathroom. C-section box.